good morning, or evening, or night, whatever time it is. Hello! Welcome back to another round of Dad Dude Gaming. We are playing some Gold Rush tonight, and we're going to try and pick up the dump truck. Um, have pretty much everything else we need to mine with it. Uh, we picked up these guys. Because for anyone that's played this game to the point where you're um, using the little front loader here, dumping it in is... it's a pain. So, we kind of put the cart in front of the horse a little bit um, and got everything else that we need except for the dump truck. We're about halfway there on our uh, money plus gold at the moment. We've got just a tiny bit in the uh, in the mats over there. You can see two percent miners moss. Um, so plan is to try and quickly grind out as much as we can. And of course, thank you guys for hanging out. Do, 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 do. So we've always been playing this game for a little while. If you guys have any questions, throw them out there. And uh, I'll answer him as best I can. But for now, let's get to it. This gold's not gonna mine itself. But um, another thing, I know a few people have noted or uh, have mentioned that the front loader seems to be bugged. Um, because they were only getting like a couple ounces of gold for a full clean out. I've only done a like roughly quarter clean out of the full wash plant, and I haven't noticed that. I think I got about 10 ish ounces, um, and the people that were saying it was bogged were only getting about two or three from a full clean out. So, hopefully, um, I'm just lucky or perhaps it's that I'm digging down deeper and they may have just been skimming the top. Um, as to how accurate it is, um, I believe I read somewhere that there's supposed to be better gold the deeper you go. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if it's just a bug with the front loader because there seems to be a few with the game so far. but. I mean, you know, you got this uh, power cord here having a little outlet rave, but it's uh, it's a good game, just kind of chill. It is loud though, so we may have to turn some of that down. Let me know if it's too loud. We can adjust that as we go. And there we go. All right. I have also heard that some of these vehicles are a little bit easier to control with a uh, controller. The only one I have that would work is the steam controller. And I did it with the, um, the excavator a little bit. And I wasn't overwhelmed at all with it. Um, and that's mostly just because if you're not familiar, it has one joystick and like a trackpad. Um, which I've used it with Fallout, it worked great, I loved it. Uh, but, at least with the particular configuration I had with this game, it was exceptionally lackluster. Uh, but, I think there's probably some tweaking I could do to make it a little bit better, but we'll try that another time. And I think I just lost a bunch of our pay dirt. Oh yeah, most of our pay dirt. Come on. Say it now. 
at any point there are any questions on either this game or other games or whatever's at the front of your mind, let me know. Because I don't know how interesting it's going to be to just kind of watch this game. Um, supposedly there are things that can break down. I have actually lost the hood of my truck, but I haven't had any major malfunctions yet. First time for everything. Apparently the springs can break on our shaker and I'm sure parts of the front loader can break too. Uh, you're supposed to be able to break teeth on the excavator, which would be unfortunate. But also liven things up. I have to lose everything this time. So, after the dump truck, I would also love to get the large generator and fuel tank. We have the small fuel like trailer, um, but I feel like once we get the big generator, that's going to take a lot more gas than what we'll readily have available. But I want to say those are like 60 some thousand a piece. So, would rather have the dump truck before either of those. Now, if the generator could also run the water pump, that would be a little more appealing. But still not enough. buggy there. Doesn't seem to like us being on the platform. But still a lot better than trying to dump it in the shaker directly. That was a nightmare. It either wouldn't completely empty out the bucket or would end up getting stuck on the edge and have to screw around with it for half an hour trying to do this. Just gonna assume that our buckets full up again. Probably gonna have to start to adjust our angle a little bit. Another thing that might be nice to get again after the uh, the dump truck would be the large excavator. Um, in addition to giving us another place to put a worker, would kind of help to reach some of the deeper pockets um, if we didn't want to be driving the front loader down all the time. Jeez. That's all I want. Nope. Nope. Stay ish. Nope. Hopefully I can be a little better at the controls tonight than I have been lately. Um, seems to be less of an issue with the front loader, but with the excavator I'm always hitting uh, E when I'm trying to do some little more complex maneuvers and getting myself out of the, uh, out of the cab. But... Not 
sure if we're quite full up. I think that'll probably have to do, though. It would also be great if they could eventually add multiplayer for it. I mean, that would be... That'd be the dream right there. Actually be able to have one person running, different piece of equipment, have a little bit more life on the claims. Because right now we have 17 workers on this claim, but you wouldn't know it. Unless, of course, you're looking at our money and gold. Judged our uh, turn there a little bit. Fine, it's fine. Double our camera It's actually, uh, truck might be in the way there a little bit, but I want to get something a shot here to see if it would possibly be quicker to kind of cut wide here and treat this more like a circuit rather than always backing up. Um, I'm not sure. I mean, we can just kind of scrape the edge. And we might be able to mostly avoid backing up altogether. Or we'll just kind of slide endlessly into the uh, into the pit here. That could be a thing too. Yeah, we've got a you know fairly decent setup. Um, hopefully we don't get stuck. Uh, yeah, no, this, uh, at least without moving all of the things here, is, uh, definitely not going to be the better, the better option. Um, uh, yeah, definitely not. 
I think we're pretty well committed, at least for the time being. <laughs> Probably made some mistakes earlier on that have, you know, ruled that out for the time being. quite an exact science for uh, whether it will or will not allow us to drive right up there. But hopefully it's a little forgiving one where we dump it. I like how they have the, um, yeah, I'll show you quick, the um, dig tube, but at least at present it's not particularly informative. Um, let's see, we have our conveyor belt. Um, it just kind of, hey, this is how you hook it up. But it doesn't go into, you know, this is where it is, you know, where it, um, uh, how forgiving it is with dumping it. Um, I mean, obviously, presumably want to get it in the bucket, but I don't know. Just a little bit more detail on some of those things would be nice. Um, also, like the fuel consumption and tanks on some of the vehicles would be nice to know. Not crucial, but uh, just helpful for planning. I mean, if I wanted to make spreadsheets and figure all that out on my own, I'd play EVE Online. after this one we're going to take a quick look see where our uh, where our mats are miners and moss probably not to clean up yet because I don't think we're even going to be over 10% see where everything's at. Probably also wouldn't be a bad idea to go cash out our gold just to make sure that we have uh, enough for a couple days. Alright, so we're at 7, and let's see our buckets are at 16 and 11. Uh, those tend to be pretty pure. Um, and yeah, without the large generator, our setup is a little hodgepodge with the two small generators and water pumps and all that spread out, but it works so far. I'm sure as soon as we get the large generator, it's going to be like, oh my god, how did we ever manage to play? But, let's head on over, and uh, like I said, make sure we got payroll for the next couple days here. Uh, come again? There we go. So, <laughs> you'll notice our hood is missing. We actually brought it over, and I set it over in the uh, that little shed there. I haven't found a way to reattach it yet, but I'm hopeful that there will be. <laughs> um... I thought I read somewhere about, you know, wrenches and stuff for fixing various things, but haven't actually found wrenches for sale or use, or any other way to reattach our hood for that matter. Um, and there are weather effects in the game, so I'd be curious to see if at some point they add in where not having your hood on in a rainstorm shorts out your battery. Because that could kind of be a pain, too. And also, you know, learning to drive. I 
I found out we can do some pretty sweet power slides in town, though. Uh, getting there is half the fun. Also, loading sequences. I put an SSD on my uh, Christmas list, but... I don't think my wife knows what that is. So I'll probably have to pick that one up on my own. Unfortunately, the one I want is for a uh, PCIe slot and costs a little more than I want to throw down right now. So, probably have to settle for just a regular two and a half inch. For now. So originally, when you were crafting up your gold into uh, bars, it was great. It said, you know, oh, gold losses, but you didn't actually lose anything. Um, they unfortunately fixed that in the last patch, which I say unfortunately, but it's, you know, not really unfortunate. It's fair. And you actually don't even have to bring it with you because it just knows you have it somewhere. Um, a couple of other things is that it used to actually take time to smelt the gold, uh, smelt the ore, but it, I don't believe that actually worked either, so they took it out of the original screen, but kind of left it hiding in the back there. So, for anyone that doesn't know, uh, that was obviously the blacksmith, and here we have kind of the main shop that we care about, it has all the mining supplies and hoopla. You have a diner that you can't go to, even though it's open. Apparently all of these like posters and things were from um, supporters on the, um, the Kickstarter. I actually haven't even gotten out to look at some of these, they look like Todd Hoffman. Nope. <laughs> Special features. Lush beard. Yes. Yes, it is. That man has been uh, partaking in No Shave 2017. Hmm. Interesting. There's quite a few posters around, actually. I wonder if some of the graffiti was from the Kickstarter backers, too. Thought it was just posters, but who knows. Just park that anywhere. Alright, what's the gold price today? 1212. Not outstanding, but we'll take it. A 5k. Uh, not going to be nearly enough for much of anything, really, that we need at this point. Um, but we'll take a stop at the equipment store anyway. Just kind of check prices. I think we could get the large excavator if we wanted. But next stop is definitely the dump. So if I recall correctly, that'll hold about six uh, scoops from the front loader. So, that would definitely be nice. 148,000. 
Uh, what else? What else? 74 for the big excavator. Nice to have, convenient for moving things around. Um, I'm really not sure why we would need the bulldozer. Um, we don't actually need to, like, tear through topsoil. Um, I mean, I guess if you just had the excavator, it could be more convenient to kind of pile stuff up. Make it a little easier to get full scoops. But, I don't know. It just, I don't see its purpose right now. Uh, yeah, basically 70 for the big generator and, oh, actually, that's not bad. That's not bad at all. Hmm. Does it say how many gallons it is? Not that I can see. Um. No. Interesting. Okay. Hmm. Does it say on dig tube? No, 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 no. Supporting systems? Uh, here we go. I just want to see what its capacity is. Because I know you can order a fuel drop for it. Um but I have no idea how much it takes. I'm pretty sure that the smaller one is a thousand gallons. And I don't want to buy that and then spend the entire rest of our money uh, filling it up. Um, sure. I mean, Wranglers drive without doors, so we can drive with ours open, right? Fine. I wonder if we can knock it off. No. I mean, maybe it's just me, but I think that would be pretty funny if we managed to just take the door off. So, um, how we've been able to drive is still a mystery. No, but um, how we've really been able to get where we are is through the use of workers. Originally, they only worked when you were off of the claim, which, again, kind of makes sense um, just because you don't actually see them there, so you wouldn't see them working. Um, but they changed that, so now they work all the time, but they also increased the um, amount that they cost significantly. I believe it was almost 7%, like 6.67%, no, sorry, times, 6.67 times what they originally did, um, which I'm not really a fan of, but I'm still making money, so 
I'm not going to complain too much. And we are kind of cheating the system there in that as opposed to just having one on there, one on our front loader, one on the sluice, or shaker. Um, we have one on this hog pan. We have one on this hog pan. And then we also have one on each of all of these. So we could go ahead and buy like another, I don't know, hundred and just have the cash rolling in. Um, but that would take away literally all of the challenge to it. Uh, I'm fine with a bit of challenge, but I do have other things to do. Um, and here we have all of our extra spare parts for whenever something does finally break down. Uh, I got our extra cogs, our jet table pieces, which I've heard somebody actually did have break on them. So hopefully we're ready for that. Um, we got our hydraulics, uh, battery, fuel pump, um, excavator track, shaker, springs, trommel chain, uh, water pipe running through the fire, and then some extra hoses and garbage back there. Um, but let's actually make sure that all of our workers are working. And they're not. So, let's fix that. That's the only thing available, right? Yep. Okay. And that should be... Yep. Typically only the first couple. Um, who else do we have available? There was a Tony Beats looking guy. Um, new workers. Oh. He's not here anymore. Hmm. Wow, there's a lot of people, though. Um, well, I don't think I'm going to go through all of them. At least not until we figure out what the work percentage and time means. Um, I'm, I would really love some clarification on that. Because I suspect it means one of two things. Either the percentage of the day that they work... Which, I mean, I, yeah, it would, it would matter. Um, or the percentage of the gold that they take. And then if the time is, like, that's how much of the day they work. That would make sense to me. Um, but I don't know. Because a lot of places in the game, time is how long it takes for something to get to the claim. So, I don't know, maybe it takes them 14 minutes or 14 hours or whatever to get here. I, I would love a little bit more explanation on that. But, although it's fully released, the game is still very much in development at the moment, at least. Uh, but, let's get back to work. I'd say the gold isn't going to mine itself, but with our workers it pretty much does. Slowly. Still going to be dancing? Yep.
So if you notice on the tablet too, it said there was um, three additional kind of functions of it coming in I don't know, the gold something like 7.0. I'm curious how that'll kind of play out and what those will do. Um, if it'll actually offer any new functionality. Because right now, everything you can do on there, you can pretty much do in time. Um, one other thing I would love to see them have would be the ability to make your own um, gold cut uh, uh bars, though. Um, just right now, in addition to losing 9 to 11 percent or whatever, you have to pay for it too. Um, and it's like in that tent, you have everything that you would need for that. So I hope that they add that in at some point. Come on. Shoot, that's right, we're going to figure out some more of that mound. Alright, well, next time. I don't think there's any shortage of dirt. Thankfully, gas is cheap. Backslide. Nope, but we're looking good now. Never mind the broken play markers there, it's fine. They'll be back next time we load. That there would be a big pile kind of on the back side. Um, I could be entirely wrong and we could be missing out on a whole shitload of gold. Tony Beats would not approve. Although, I mean, if it were up to him, we'd flood and dredge this entire area. Which, I mean, they have several machines that they have kind of covered up at the, um, I want to say the machine shop, but they don't, that's not really right. Um, in any case, that are going to be added in, and I do wonder if um, any of those are like Monster Red or Slucifer or any of the other delightful um, wash plants from the show. A dredge would be cool though, because there's a claim that I um, can't seem to purchase yet. So I wonder if 
that might be a dredge claim. I don't think any of the uh, bigger dredges from the show, or not dredges, um, wash plants from the show would fit in our current location. But there are two other claims that we have access to, and from what I've seen, it looks like they might be a little bit more accommodating. Oop, oh, there we go. Haven't done that in a while. Thank you, Jordan. Have a good night, and hopefully, you know, it wasn't a total war. And how are we looking? Still pretty empty. I think it's gonna have to do. quick sleep it off here and try to make sure I turn the lights off. Don't need the first time our battery dies to be on stream. Actually, you know what? We'll see if those ones are fine. I think it took how many ever hours of gas? I know your workers stopped working in the sleep, but I wasn't sure about um, the rest of your plants and stuff. Oh, backing up a little hot. This time we'll straight in and scoop up a little bit of this over here. Hmm. I guess that's the plan. There we go, let's try it again. Good. Let's see if it's any better going uh, this way around. It seems like that answer may be uh, not so much to do. But a little bit of a steep incline there.
great that somebody wants to work for us and all, but we don't have jobs for the current resumes. already? Yep. Good problem to have. And nope. Let's try again. I think once we take the edge off of uh, that corner, this might not be so bad. Gonna move to that stuff too. Still got plenty of room left though, not gonna go up half empty. Or only half filled, depending on how you look at it. Uh, but we will apparently drop everything we care about on the ground. Sure, why not? stretch here. Passes going around, around and around before we go back to just backing up. We've almost got this cleared out on this side now, so get that wrapped up and then give it a legitimate shot and see where we end up. We have nothing to bucket. Uh, there we go. Maybe no. A little more. Sure. Come on. Maybe this is the uh, purpose of the bulldozer. Resculpt the land a little bit easier. Sure if this is uh, really any quicker or not. This 
seems like we're having just as much trouble, or at least I'm having just as much trouble trying to uh, get around there as it was the other way. But I wonder if I can dump it straight on, maybe save. Split second or two. Might almost be enough to make a difference. Looking good. Get a little bit of room left. Yeah, there we go. Let's see if we can line this up a little bit better than last time. That's always the goal, isn't it? Just do a little bit better than the time before. Sometimes a lot of it. Okay. How about now? There we go. Magically filled up at the end there. Not gonna complain. Looks like our one generator is getting a little bit low on fuel. May have to address that in the next round or so.
still better than having to run two or three water pumps just to get water down to our mobile mobile plant. And that was a nightmare. Which was still better than when we were just at the hog pants. I'm not sure how it just kind of magically fills up, but yeah, we're looking good for us in the mouth. Yeah, nope, not what we want. I'm gonna do a little bit too much. Looks like with our uh, differential. Not have much luck getting up that hill. Alright, let's see, we're what, 20, 27% is what we see? Yeah, looks like we might have lost a little bit that time. Um, and actually, this is going to be a terrible spot to leave this. We're always running through here. So, instead, let's drop it here and hope that we can get out. Sometimes when it's on an incline, I have some challenges getting off that edge. Uh, okay. Was actually one. Oh, 36. We were. But since we're already here, may as well top them off. So may as well check what our mats are at. I haven't really checked that in a little bit. It's another thing that I'm meaning to try is if we uh, kind of just set that there, let it get to 100%, if we'd be able to go back to mining and just leave that as, you know, an additional reserve. But let's see here, 17, 16, 17, blah, 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 not bad, not bad. 27 and 19, hmm, hmm. I'm thinking we might take uh, these two, since they're super easy to pull out of here and we have a bunch of extra buckets. A bunch, do I have just one for that? Nope. Got two. And there. And let's all this guy in the corner. And let's see what we get. Thankfully, uh, at least at the moment, things stick in the buckets pretty well, even when they tip over. Alright, and let's get the water going for that. I'm not sure if we really need it, because our wavetable seems to work perfectly fine without power. Um, but... Again, it's one of those things where... I will very happily accept it. Unless I find out that I'm getting 5% of the gold that I could be. But that'd be my own fault. I also didn't see a message that it had finished processing. Is this 
actually on? No. There's almost a good gold. And also, almost a So, let's flip our water on. Gold. Throw it on in. So Eight. Yeah, we got what, three and a half ounces from a tiny fraction of the amp. I mean, we didn't even touch the mats, and neither of those were above thirty percent. So. I think we're doing okay, honestly. Um, I'll be curious to see if it's just the um, front loader that's working well directly with this system. If it's the front loader and the dump truck where there's a loss. If it was something that was patched or if we're just incredibly lucky. Um, because I checked the forums yesterday and people were reporting the problem. I hadn't been seeing it, but I believe it probably happened. Um, but yeah, I think we're probably actually going to call it for tonight just because this is taking a long time. Um, didn't quite get the dump truck. I imagine I'll grind it out between now and the next time and we'll pick it up there. Thanks for hanging out, checking out the channel. Um, if this didn't completely bore you to death, I don't know what's wrong with you, because there wasn't really a whole lot to watch, but I appreciate you hanging out. Uh, feel free to like, subscribe, play some more interesting games, and appreciate your suggestions and comments. So, hit me up, and we'll catch you next time.